so i uh, just uh, saw this on internet somewhere uh, a person he, he did same sort of thing he, where he marked out the his uh, musical score so that's why i chose this method strip morphology uh, i think my professor told me that this is called strip morphology i did it first and then my professor told me it's called strip morphology hello everybody today i'm going to discuss my architecture thesis as you saw from the title the topic for my thesis was music and architecture and uh, today i'm going to discuss uh, in detail about it with case studies research and everything so stick to the end as i have also added the details for the case study and for the my design so without any further ado let's begin this is the starting um, illustration which i created for one of the view of my structure the topic for my thesis was music academy or a music school where everyone could learn music um, and also performance center which is joined to it so my design topic was music academy and performance center the design brief was to design a place for learning music with correlating components um, within music and architecture a music uh, academy will also serve various public places like amphitheater and semi public spaces the center is located at bapu pool which is a close by area near my home in nasik and it is not a very crowded area but it is in the sort of middle of the city so yeah that's why i chose this space for a college as it would be more commutable for everyone inside the city some of the uh, elements which are common in music and architecture are symmetry proportions repetitions and uh, they contribute to architecture and music to create a framework for design or for composing some characteristics which kind of similar to music and architecture are pitch rhythm harmony and juxtapose we do use in this, this in basic design in architectural planning so these are some of the elements that i jotted down in the in this venn diagram quickly i will run you down through my research try to find some commonalities between architecture and music starting with the first is rhythm so basic definition of rhythm is measuring the time relation between sounds and to find a pattern of regular recurrence this way i started to find more and more similarities between architecture and music sub categories of rhythm is polyrhythm and free rhythm you can just pause the video and just look at it one second one is melody melody is the main bond of a music so jabhi bhi aapne kuch gana suna hoga to instantly within a few seconds aapko pata chalta hai ki wo gana is it happy or sad is it uh, exciting is it mysterious so that is the main bond of the music that is like basic definition of melody so pitch is a musical tone which refers to high or low notes pitch can be measured in hertz and uh, pitch in architecture can be referred to the quality of element in volume as you can see i have also denoted some of the uh, examples in pitch uh it can be a larger or smaller space it can be in elevation for windows it can be structural elements uh every mass is a pitch so interval is a very simple term it is distance in pitch or distance between two notes so in architecture it can be like a transitional space it can be space between two uh, areas space between two structures elements like columns it can also be space between masses or indoor elements this is a basic uh, definition of interval next is timber just uh, think of the material of a uh, like musical instrument so if you can play the same note on violin or same note on piano or same note on trumpet it will sound different because there is material different in them so like the same i remember an example from fountain head in which howard roar who is an architecture student is called into his principal's office and principal calls him out to tell him that you are not uh, designing very traditionally howard roar schools his own principal and tells him that Uh, not every design can be just replicated as it is in different materials because uh, when stone hinge was made it was like basic very basic raw architecture but still uh, it was on stone so if that same architecture that same design is replicated in um, wood it would be very different the repercussions would be very different the joinery would be very different that's why i think uh, with new material design also should be transforming according to it so that's what uh, this fountain head book uh, just tells you about back to my thesis next is emphasis it can be a flag or a note in a music then is scale uh, so scale is basically if it is like a residential bungalow it is like 3 meters or 9 meters max to max or is it like a monumental scale like a skyscraper of 50 stories or a, like a pyramid which is like a humongous scale music it is like major scale or minor scale in articulation is a way of sound is performed like legato or staccato staccato means notes are closely packed together legato means they are just far apart it is similar in 
placement of columns or architectural elements like windows, doors, etc. This is harmony. Harmony is referred to as vertical aspect of music, distinguished from melodic line or the horizontal aspect. You can just screenshot this part. Moving on to my first case study, Stephen Hole is an architect who created this residence stereo house in the way that I wanted music and architecture to be developed. He basically took a music composition found what patterns are coming in it and then he identified those patterns and then used those ideas to make his concept and make his like whole building, whole residence. In the first measure, you can see I have marked it down. I will just zoom into it. First, uh, the composition marked in yellow. Uh, I have written that the recurring subject is introduced in the first measure and also heard in various forms throughout the composition. In the blue part, I have written it. Um, the theme is introduced followed by a repeat of voice shown in different color. A recurrent theme begins in the fifth measure. So this overlapping part is what was attractive to Stephen Hall and basically he used that in his design. Next I have uh, just demarketed the plan and elevation just to show you he used the flow of the house and then he used the transitional spaces which are marked in red made those highlights as the four movements in the Bartok's piece the composition or the music piece from which uh, Stephen Hall conceptualize this design. So in elevation, you see he also highlighted it even more. Transition spaces, which are marked in red, he designed it in masonry walls. So that way, even more the reinforcement of difference of like a piece or like a highlight of the four parts which are overlapping in the music composition. That can be highlighted. You can just check out the music. I will just link the music in the description below. What Next, we have demarcation of light to heavier materials uh, from roof to uh, ground. I have written here, the whole also makes comparison between instruments in Bartok's piece and building materiality. Instruments has a particular tone and texture and whole represented each and major group of instruments through materials. So he used lighter materials like reflective roof. Afterwards, he coming down, he used uh, even light glass, depicting the strings or lighter sounds in a band, in a, and then he used opaque masonry wall uh, represent heavier percussion material, heavier percussion instruments. So that way he started to demarcate uh, each and every material. And coming to the analysis, um, pitch is the frequency of sound as noted on the score. Um, for this project, it uh, denotes any moment or marking along the vertical axis of the score and pitch will be related to the physical height. This is a uh, rhythm which is depicted by the masonry walls and uh, it is movement along the horizontal axis of the score that involves time and spatiality. And uh, next is dynamics uh, which encompasses sense of loudness or touch. Uh, this is related to scale or size of space architecture. Spaces also contain hierarchy which is perceived by the user. Uh, next is texture as I told mentioned earlier. Every uh, material um, has a depiction in the band. The lighter materials depict lighter um, instruments like strings or like hi hat. And then comes the heavier percussions. So basically, next I did a mill owners association. So in this, uh, I will just run you down uh, simply, uh, telling you that um, this oval auditorium in below, oval auditorium in the building with its circular ceiling gives a space and immense power it, it exudes. So the oval auditorium is offset by square room and sharp staircase showing juxtapose and emphasis in different uh, shapes uh, of spaces. Basically that uh, is what first I noticed in Mill Owners Association. Next I noticed uh, increasing volume in the pitch. Uh, so as the volume increased as we go up the pitch also increased because it uh, is denoted by verticality of uh, space. So analysis of the Mill Owners Association. The concrete exterior and the sun blocking frame work portrays brutalist design. One explores the interior via a ramp. The space implores curvilinear shapes, suggesting contrast in design as one moves through the transition spaces. The intersection of curvilinear and orthogonal plane creates an experience of compression and release. Thus, in musical terms, uh, the plane spaces depicts emphasis, pitch, and juxtapose. Next, we see Sangat. Um, just telling you uh, very quickly. The uh, as you enter in the Sangat, which is designed by late B.V. Doshi, welcoming green space can be identified as interval and uh, the building sections can be uh, identified as highness and low lowness of the pit. So that way I try to understand. Next is a bookcase study, which I did of Yugang Grotto Museum. 
uh the main thing i will tell you about it is the wavy wavy uh, roof which uh, was very interesting to me the plan is made such that it moves in waves which uh, we can see in roof as well as the plan the just moves up up and down in regular intervals and depicts rhythm in building so next i will show you analysis of the music that i chose uh, once you see this uh, i will show you why i chose this mu this particular music So basically this was the music that I chose as a kid I listened to this music constantly because it was in a game which me and my cousins used to play it was called roller coaster tycoon it was very old game it was like constructing roller coasters and amusement park so that's why I chose uh, this music score as you can see the music score it is also used in many movies about uh, space exploration and uh, it is related to gravity um, or uh, like defying gravity and weightlessness uh, the thing is um the second beat carries the tune to consecutive seconds and the tone never rests and it comes from as a perseverance and weightlessness to piece so the tone is just going up and down uh, but it never just goes down completely it always goes up so i uh, just uh, saw this on internet somewhere uh, a person he, he did same sort of thing he, where he marked out the his a uh, musical score so that's why i chose this method strip morphology uh, i think my professor told me that this is called strip morphology i did it first and then my professor told me it's called strip morphology anyways then i did this and uh, after that uh, the strip morphology is drafted along highs and lows of music it calibrates the curves and points of symmetry rhythm repetition and juxtaposition this is the concept sheet uh, it's very basic concept sheet but yes it did the trick the concept statement is the line that tries to constantly achieve the higher level of expression the perseverer actually i uh, chose uh, then i uh, chose this music score then i did the line development and then they did the form development so it is then basically try to create a section through the form this is how i made from sketch plan to reality as you can see the performance center is uh, depicting this line the concept evolution basically i took five blocks then i made a courtyard out of it and then i tried to increase volume then i used circular forms to break irregularity and then i added buffer zones to segregate this academic block site analysis and concept development as i told you earlier the site is 5 kilometers away from central bus station and it is uh, in a very secluded place right now there is not much construction there um so yeah that is basically the site it has a 15 meter wide road uh, in front of it and also gangapur road um which is directly adjoined to the road so the requirements for performance hall is admin section reception library area music listening room classrooms electronic music cafe performance center Uh, individual practice room uh, percussion studio ensemble room store room multi purpose uh, and choral rehearsal room i have also forgot to add theater classes to this but yeah um, those were basically the requirements for performance hall and music academy what to add the music academy in it in the title this is uh, the zoning the site model that i did uh, it's just to understand what is the ideology i can use to construct my design there now we can see uh, in the eastern view the front view and the western view and also the trees which block the view in for the first two second floors mostly second floors so i made the orientation and zoning i tried to place the amphitheater and water catchment area in the west and uh, move the park into the north but uh, something i did here was combine these two parking uh, zoning orientation areas made so that the uh, performance center would be placed in the west 
and a parking area would be placed along with it so the performance center can be used as a semi public area which was my first intention that i wanted all of people of nasik or even uh, out of nasik to come here and enjoy performances and uh, they should not be interrupting the studies of students so that's why i uh, chose to make it a seclusion the performance center but still be connected to the actual building here is the site plan and uh, as you can see some of the basic amenities is entry drop off point admin section academic section ramp and art gallery courtyard performance hall and uh, art gallery and landscape area uh, also to choral uh, rehearsal hall and multi purpose rooms i have i have two entries over here the one is for performance hall coming from left to right uh, performance hall and then entry to college and also there is an exit room. so i did this uh, um, when we were in pandemic and we had to present this uh, ppt form so that's why everything is ppt animation uh, otherwise architects don't get to present in ppt uh, so yeah. uh, i added the section aa post through performance center hotel and admin section and uh, in auditorium we see that volume of roof is depicted by rhythm and flow with the interval of pre lobby detached from courtyard so basically i used the section the concept line in this section so the courtyard depicts high notes uh, it's the perceiving line so it just goes up and up there and then atrium depicting the mid uh, notes so the low notes it's depicting here you can see there is an amphitheater in the west uh, i really like the view of the amphitheater and then there is front elevation and there is the entrance way so here is a blown out version of the section the concept line as you can see is uh, the mean colluding with the structure and here uh, you can see the image of interior image of auditorium i as you can see i have also i've used all concrete uh, for the roof details i will show that in the later stage and uh, here we have courtyard Uh, and we have reception and waiting area a ground floor cut line plan i will just run you through what a basic circulation would be so a person entering from the reception would go up to the waiting room if he is a student uh, he can just go directly up if not if you are a parent or uh, some visitor you can sit in the waiting room you will be called in the hod room or the faculty room uh, as who you are going to see next uh, after entering there courtyard will be at the left of you and uh, or else there is a ramp which goes through all the floors and it will be an art gallery so going up the ramp you will also be able to see art uh, we have theater classes we have four th uh, three theater classes and one choral rehearsal hall um, and then after that is a like breakout space for any students to sit and relax we have toilets right over there and also we have a recital hall and multi purpose halls so basically that is the way i try to design this uh, area if you want to go to performance hall from the college you go directly through the courtyard you cut through the courtyard you go to the lobby which is a place which is required for performance halls like uh, in the recess or in intervals you come here you have a snack or anything so that's why uh, lobby is required and then you go to the performance uh, hall there uh, if you go directly uh, outside from uh, ramp area to left you go to the amphitheater and the uh, landscape area next we see section bb in which uh, we see amphitheater interval space ramp and art gallery and pitch which is uh, depicted from architecture so here i have written a line a library space increase in volume from left to right experiencing pitch it is also helpful in tighter spaces for ceiling level to be high so it both has a conceptual meaning and a functional meaning uh, here you can see some images of library shaders interval uh, space image and amphitheater image and also a detail of sun shader here i have created an axonometry view of all the floors so where i can see exactly which uh, area is going where it would be also helpful for the juror to see so yeah this one is a view of a ramp and then ramp and art gallery i just added that uh, glass uh, golden glass ball uh, just because i found it interesting it was something extra and then there is louvers and, and library over there next we can see first floor plan which is uh, basically a rehearsal halls so you can see over there each class has uh, like 10 pianos or 8 pianos at the most and students uh, teacher has a grand piano and they teach on it also each student uh, with the piano needs to have plugs below on the ground so that is something that needs to be taken care of and, uh, next we have uh, east facing balconies for students and um, then we have transition space from ramp to for, uh, just to ground floor so if you go on the first floor of the ramp you can go down also 
and uh, next there is ramp next we have second floor plans second floor plans has art gallery transition space buffer spaces and cafes basically on the second floor we have a storeroom ensemble room percussion studio practice rooms one tip is that practice rooms require a single person to be in it but uh, you can always make those transparent so there is not much like just boxed and uh, people not, are not boxed you can just make simple partitions otherwise it's not really required also it it will always just blow up just just try to make a one block soundproof so you don't really mess up uh, what other people are trying to say in other floors south facing elevation which depicts polar rhythm in the sun shaders uh, sun shaders are blocking harsh light from east next we see east facing elevation which juxtapose in material of multi purpose room transition space uh, allows students an informal seating uh, and passage to move from classrooms to rehearsal hall so as you can see the multi purpose rooms are circular and they are short and also they are diff they have different materials so i try to take from what i learned in the case study so this will be a very good point even if not everything is completed but at least you have some part which is you have taken from the case study so you always need to connect from what you have learned earlier so that way it will be like a little more Im uh, immersive even if your design is not uh, complete even you don't have everything the jeweler will like it so these are some of the renders that i did for my thesis so this is the west uh, facing elevation uh, staircase to first floor stage and sun shaders so this is the north facing elevation so it doesn't have that much height according to what is behind so next we have section cc so there is a recital hall in the left of section cc then there is academic blocks and uh, then there is a ramp and art gallery and then there is section dd which has a ramp uh, you can see section of the ramp elevation multi-purpose halls next we have the auditorium details so as i was going to tell you the details of auditorium i used cal zip which is a very flexible material and also used for many like a uh, flowy form works and uh, this is how i created this um, this design because of this material cal zip so you can just go and search about it so yeah basically these are the details that i have done for the auditorium you can just screenshot it once uh, in the in the uh, starting i have tried to make the as how the water will flow i think i learned that in internship so that came in helpful and then uh, there is a first floor and then there is ground floor that's it guys uh, it's been a long video uh, i hope you liked it if you want to see more of such content just go to this video uh, or if you want to see more skit related related content go to this video thank you and have a good day